Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another tutorial. We are going to be revisiting our sticker stencils today. I've got the leaf one here, but of course you can use this technique on any sticker stencils. We've got our Versafine Claire, we've got some Element inks, I've got my stencil brushes, a few mini stamps multifarious card so yeah so let's get started and um, we have got the negative side of the leaf we've got the negative and the positive this is the leaf here they're both sticky and you just simply peel off the backing once it loses its sticky just wash it okay so just gently use a cloth wipe the back and then it will come back. It's quite amazing. And that's what I like about it is that you can use it over and over again. So I'm going to place that down in the center. I'm going to go around the edge, make sure that I'm pressing that down. But it's all stuck well to the card. I've got some masking paper here and I'm just going to cut a few curves, um, a few strips should I say. So I'm just following that one. Now you can do these as thick or as thin as you want, that's your choice. it's always good to cut on the edge where it's easy peel so you can just see the back the backing of it so it's dead easy then and then all we're going to do is just stick it down so I'm just sectioning, sectioning off the leaf, parts of the leaf, like so. I covered that. I'm just going to tear it there. And then taking another one. Oh, wrong side. Again, I don't need all of that, so I'm just going to tear part of that off. You don't have to section it how I have, you can do it however you want. You can see I've got one, two, three sections there. I'm going to fill each section with a different colour. So I've got Merlot, I've got the Sahara and I've got Pine. So starting with the Merlot, I'm taking my stencil brush. This is the medium sized stencil brush and I'm going to just transfer that ink over onto my card and just keep that the ink within that masked off area okay take a little off on a scrap piece of paper first just so you get the feel of how much pressure and the density of color that you want on here and that's fine for that area and now we're going to move on to the Sahara so I'm going to do exactly the same thing take a little off and then fill the middle area pop that to the side and then lastly we're going to use the pine
And there we go. That's the first stage done. Next, we've got a few little stamps here. You can use any minis that you like. I've just chosen three here that I quite like that I think are going to work. Um, the first one is the fern that comes in a set. So we've got a small fern and a larger fern. I'm using the smaller one and I'm going to use the warm breeze. So ink up. And I'm going to pop that down once, twice. And just by layering, you just get some really nice different colour tones. Just build that up. It's hard to know when to stop, isn't it? So moving on to the next one. I've got a little flower sprig here. So I'm inking up this time in Shady Lane. see I'm just repeating that pattern over and over I'm quite happy with that and then moving on to the last one I've got a little flourish again here it looks like a little berry and I'm going to use the the red against the green it would be quite nice so There we go. Next up, I've got some little tiny stencil brushes here, which is great for the detail. So I'm going to go back to my elements, and this time I'm using the mulberry, which is quite a dark colour. And one of my tiny stencils, this is um, number three. And I'm going to go around the edge. Just building up that density of colour. And round we go. All the way around. Like so. Now if you feel that that's not dark enough and you want a little bit more, I'm actually using the graphite here just to go on the very, very edges. Like so. Moving on. We'll go use the Merlot this time. And I'm going to go around the edge. Around we go. Lovely colour. Works well against the yellow as well. And then lastly, uh, which colour shall we do? I might actually just use the graphite for this one. So, around the edge. There we go. Now something else we can add as well, if 
if we want, you don't have to, you can leave it there. Or we can use one of the metallic gilding polishes. Now I've been using a lot of these lately and they're quite addictive. This is one of our new colours, this is petrol blue. And all I'm going to do, just pop that lid, pick up a little bit of that gorgeous blue. I'm going to grab a smoothie and just pick a little bit of that up. Just take it around some of the edges. Now it doesn't look like it's doing an awful lot now, but when I hold it up to the light, you'll be able to see that beautiful metallic finish. Let's pop a little bit more down. It just adds a little bit of something else, I think. Just another technique I wanted to share with you really. With the gilding polish it's always good just to spritz with a little bit of water before popping the lid back on. And that way it will last for a long, long time. And now we can reveal what we've got. So first of all I'm going to take up the where the masking tape was. Okay. Now you can see that these areas now are going to be quite white. So I'm going to grab the colour and I'm just going to go over the top just to take that starkness down. That's it what I'm going to do. So now let's just take that off. And there it is. Isn't that great? Now if I can get that right with the light, I hope I can. You can see that gorgeous blue just round some of the edges there just gives you an idea of what you can do with these sticker stencils. So something else we could do, um, I've got gilding glue here. Now if I take a brush and if I just paint a little along the edge there, One there, and one there, and then I'm going to heat that up just to dry it. Make sure that that's nice and tacky, and then we'll take some of our gilding flakes. All I'm going to do is pop those along the edge of where I put the glue. There's no easy way of using the gilding flakes, is there? It tends to go just about everywhere. Just give that a bit of a rub. Use your brush if you like. And there you have that lovely line of gilding flakes. Just to give it a little bit more glimmer. So, I think that's um, such a nice, effective card. Um, something a little bit different. 
that I wanted to share with you today. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope it's inspired you to have a go um, with the sticker stencils yourself. You take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.